This is uh, the monthly tech meet at Ronnie's Garage for the Rolls Royce Owners Club of Southern California. So, it's got a castle nut on the end. Okay, there's bend over lock tabs here that hold it in, in position. If you look here, there's two bend over tabs here on this castle nut, and they're to keep the nut from coming loose. So what I do is I uh, take a little chisel, and I flatten it out so it clears. Oh, okay. Here's a big part of the problem. I want you all to come over here. This is obvious as can be. When we get it apart, you'll see. But you'll see that there's a washer. See how it's out of place? Oh, oh gosh. That actually fits over a shoulder and goes down. Oh. So this shaft is, the valve is not even in the right place right now. Oh, wow. It's floating back and forth. That's why it had a lot of assists sometimes yeah. and none at all. Other times? Oh, gosh. Oh. That's the See? Right there. You're talking about this thing right there. The now. washer in there. Yeah. It should be centered. It should be centered. Yeah. Oh, we have to get into the trap of the vertical pump. And yeah. is, it, is that the correct washer or is it a washer? Oh, I'm sure it is. The, I'm sure somebody just took this apart, yeah, put new yeah. seals, and then put it back together. And, oh, my gosh, it doesn't work right. No, it's just normal. But, but wouldn't you expect the inside diameter to be close to the diameter of the shaft? It is. Once we get it apart, we'll see more. I I like when I see obvious stuff. Yes. Yeah, so when I get it all apart, yeah, yeah. and I don't see anything wrong, and I'm going, yeah, oh, <laughs> no. We're, that, then you really got to pull out the thinking like cap. This is going to be a no-brainer, almost. I bet you it'll work right. Uh, the now, this castle nut, I'm sure they make a special tool, and once I figure out how to use my new machines, I'm going to make one. Do it. It's, yeah. it's very, very rewarding. But I'm going to take it all the way against the lock, which is all the way. And I'm going to try. Hopefully, it's not too tight. They don't have to be super tight. So, see how it is. They might be. There we go. Okay. This is the left hand side. All right. Yeah, now, I don't recommend taking these apart unless you're prepared for a lot of frustration. There we go. So what happens is, it's this thing got out of this. You don't want to mix up these washers. Otherwise, you have to build a test rig and go through what I was explaining earlier to recenter this. They are all, normally all marked. Zero seven one. C2, okay. You want to keep them in the same positions because there are more in here, okay? <laughs> That's the outside one. And I'm going to, I always lay them out usually, just, and I hope nobody comes by my bench and moves them. This, uh, this, okay. So what, you can see where that washer got off center. That washer is supposed to fit over this and then that other plate bottoms out on his shoulder. So that washer, along with all the other washers, once we get in there, we'll see the valve, hold that valve in a very particular spot, which centers it on this housing. Okay, so, yeah, what you got there, then you've got some roller bearings, because this shaft, you don't want it to move back and forth too much. It's gotta be held in a pretty good position. And then inside here, this is a cloud two. It's got this big washer with all these springs, that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, there's more. Could they have made it any more complicated? Oh, there's more. Uh, okay, let me get my another wrench here. Now we're gonna pull the valve body off. I, I didn't take the line, line as far apart because it, it seemed to be working all right and then leaky. Just... Yeah. Well, that, that, that was a good obvious problem there. Yeah. That... Now, if you take a quick look here, you see all this extra silicone? There's an O-rings. O-rings are going there, and if you, don't, if you don't have the O-rings, I guess you can cheat by doing that. And uh, it's not the proper way, let's just say that. I'm doing this very gently because I don't want all these pistons. There's springs and pins and all kinds of things in here. 
Really? Go ahead and laugh. <laughs> but there's so much fun to chase all over the floor. <laughs> oh, needle bearings are my favorite. Oh, oh. <laughs> there's always one short. It <laughs> it's true. And that coat hanger just isn't the right diameter. <laughs> no, that would get just chewed up. It'd get chewed up and ruin all the rest. Okay, I use a little magnet usually to help me get the washers off. Because yeah. these gloves are nice, but when they get wet, they just, you can't grab anything. I can't grab gloves. <laughs> I, I have to. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, let's see how it goes. Oh, Ooh. sweet. Uh oh, I'm gonna lose some. Right? There's another one of these on the back side, and that what has happened is the big washer is coming. Oh, perfect. There's one. Don't let me forget to get that one in the trash can. It's a, it's a spring shell. It's a what? Spring shell. Is that what that's called? Technical? <laughs> Well, it's almost spring and spring is in the air. That's never good, right? <laughs> Daylight savings tonight. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Good morning. Here's what I do. I always lay it in the direction it came off. Yeah. Just for because I don't like mixing things up like that. Okay. That's the other side. We'll take this all the way apart and then I'll get into the valve body. Um, now we'll take out the pitman shaft and we need a seven six minutes. This plate goes on top. You can't do any of this with the in the car. You do have to take it off and do this, right? You can adjust it in the car. Uh, it's not as accurate because so you don't have that today. feel. Uh, you can get it close. Um, you have to adjust the top and bottom plates simultaneously, so it just I like to, edge. just to yeah. keep it per yeah. vertical. Yeah. This is the thrust race at the bottom. You really right. Mm -hmm. the because you don't want it sitting in there at an angle. That's. And the difference with the right-hand drive, left-hand drive is just that one. Uh, uh, really, the only difference is the valve body is positioned different. Well, no, no, no this is offset. Yeah. The valve body you can use either way, but you just flip it, I think. Yeah, but the casting is different, isn't it, for the right and left? The, the, yeah, this is yeah, exactly. for the right and left. Yeah, different. Because the, this, it mounts to the frame. There's a, yeah. on top of the frame, there's a, a bolt or a right, yeah, there's a, a bracket welded. And then this clamps to the side of the frame. So the right hand, or the yeah, right hand drive, the hand is, these yeah. are reversed. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I did think about converting to right with the left hand drive and I kind of press that. And <laughs> so yeah, the valve bodies are where they have a lot of problems, and, and those you can, you can, you have to turn them yeah. or switch the hoses actually. But you have to get the, the positioning for the hoses gets screwed up, but you can use them. Those are precious, those valve bodies. Silver Cloud 1 has a totally different steering yeah. box, it doesn't have this. It still has this, but it doesn't have the transfer gear. Um, it's just, and it doesn't have this big arm. It bolts right in between some braces. It's because they didn't have a big old hunk honking V8 engine to work around. That's true. That was in the way. They just right? squeeze them in, right? Yeah. So where, they could have done it with universal shafts and universal joints. That's tacky. I know, it's not rolls racing, is it? <laughs> That's hot rod stuff. Why well, use UJs when you can use precision cut gears? And also for the one, it's not power steering, right? This is, does that mean anything? The one had power steering also. It's, it's, it, yeah, it's an option. Yeah. 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 I can't so. think we'll buy one without them. <laughs> can't waste that much without power right. steering. So what I'm going to do is take this top. You see there's a hex, hex on here? Mm -hmm. That's to help you adjust it because that turns on top here. Once I get it off, we can see. There's your bearing. Oh, I see. Okay. It's an offset. Yeah, it's an offset. It's so when you turn it, it moves it in and out. Yeah. And here you can see the working part before I get it all apart. If you can get your camera, if you guys want to look at it. See the worm gear? And it wor works the roller back and forth. 
And if you take a look here, there's, a rag. there's indexing marks to help you remember your adjustment. See those little lines on there? Ah. There are lines on there, and there's a pointer on that top plate. Where did it go? This one? Yeah. There's a pointer right there. Oh, I'll be done. See that? Oh, yeah. You've been down that road, I know, yeah, right? Been there. Yeah. I took, I made a careful drawing of where mine was before. Okay, I so the stand back. It's, it's gonna splatter. So I'm gonna pull out the pitman shaft was, now. It was right. So here's the actual roller. You see, it's even at an angle. So, yeah. so you can't switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, some of these parts are so beautifully made that you don't want to put them back together. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> That's special too. <laughs>